so the people that I've met who have watched this film are so taken by it because they got they were brought in not expecting to open up their hearts and all of a sudden they're involved and they look at me as the girl well of, of course I'm going to be the girl you know like I would fall in love with someone who's as innocent and open but that's why because I played it so I didn't play it like the bad girl. I played it like the good girl. Nobody sees it coming. And that's why I think it's such a slap in the face, which honestly, I've hated myself. So I understand. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. I'm like, what? Gosh. I'm like, so, so just letting you know, um, I, I think those elements, you know, are true to the story. And anybody who's seen that film and you feel it, I mean, you're, you're not alone because it's very powerful, real, and it's, you're not the only person who's who's taken for yeah. a ride and it was yeah. just something like that never had been created before and i have to say because this movie was first of all it was a sex comedy it was the first one um it came out when fast times came out but we were the first ones to make a film we actually shot it, it we did it before fast times was done and i remember them being in a race to get it out because they had heard fast times was coming out so um they were like we've got to get this film out really fast and um, it was very strange that that film came out with like Fast Times and that had a soundtrack too, I think, didn't it? It's Fast Times? Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Jackson um, Brown. Mm -hmm. Right, right. And it, but it suddenly became, so to me, like Virgin was the European version and Fast Times was like the American version of the same sort of story in a sense, right? Like the same uh, teen relationships and teen love stories and, uh, and sex and you know um so i think um ours was more indie you know it was an indie film um and mm -hmm. at the time i just we i just didn't know i knew that like i knew it had 80s an 80s look when we did it um but i in retrospect like i mean looking back at it i had no idea how much of the eighties it was and even terms of like drinking and cocaine and the drugs like that to me in retrospect was like, wow, that was really eighties. Um, and the clothes were eighties and the music is eighties. Like I look back and I see that as a, uh, time capsule. Uh, and even the avail ability for abortion to be talked about and something that it was available. I never thought that would be something that was some, you know, could ever have been something that would, be not something in the popular world, you know, right, right, right. Um, that in 80s where things were like, everything's up and coming, you felt like things were going to move forward in a more progressive way. You had no idea that life goes up and down, like it goes progressive, then it goes conservative. Progressive, conservative. So I had no idea that that was even a thing. Uh, that being the young teen that I was, you know, how you, when you're a teenager, you think the world is my oyster. And like, you know, <laughs> things are going to move because people are smart and we're going to move forward. And you right. don't realize that's a really hard thing to have happen in the world. I didn't realize in the, like the, like the police were in it. And like years later I went, Oh my gosh, the police were in that. Like it just was just music to okay, me. Here's a funny story. So mm. I am a, uh, so like that beautiful scene, I think when I they sing, you know, da, 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 you know that part, I think that's Journey's song, and I'm like, it's all this emotional open thing. Arms. I'm about to, open arms. I'm about to kiss Lawrence, and um, and then now my daughter is dating a guy who's who's cousin or something, is related to. We know somebody who was in Journey, and so I was thinking, how funny it is that the people in Journey know Last American Virgin because their film was in it, but I never got to meet them. You know, that's another thing too. Like all the musicians who participated in this film probably have seen this film, but I never got to meet them, you know? So I always thought it would be kind of cool, you know, to meet them because those scenes are very, they're, they're beautiful because of that music, you know? To see more clips just like this, be sure to subscribe to the Region Free YouTube channel and also check out the Patreon to get exclusive content and become a Regionaire.